Hello everybody. Um, today I want to talk about the Sofota 339 and how to make it from a pretty good bag to a fantastic bag. So this video is in two parts. One is the, uh, the belt and one is the straps that we're going to adjust. And uh, I will show you how I, I do that. So let's start with the, uh, the waist belt there. First thing, when you buy this bag, and I can show you like this, this belt is really tight. I mean, it's really like almost impossible to bend. And you can see there is quite a space between the belt and the bag. And when you wear this thing, it is kind of like bouncing on your back a little bit. So the first thing you do um, is that you take these ropes here, which is sort of like a pulley system. You can really undo that very easily and you loosen it up and you make it so that it curves down when you wear it. And I hope you can see that, but it curves in, but it doesn't touch the bag or the frame. So that is about the distance. What it does is it gets the bag closer to your body, which makes it easier to wear and it, it's more rounded to your, to your own body. So it's, it's really more comfortable. Um, so not so bouncy. All right, but if you load it up, you need a waist belt. Now, um, I found this, uh, a small padded battle belt, I believe that it is. Um, what is really important is that it has webbing on one side and you can already see how I am attaching it later. So webbing and it goes all the way around. So it, it's also on your hips, really on the bone part. And it has, of course, a buckle there so you can adjust it somewhat. But the webbing is what we use to uh, adjust it. All right, now let's have a look at the materials I'm gonna use to attach it to the backpack. Okay, so uh, just on the table here, I just got the equipment that I am gonna use and I'm gonna tell you that it's quite cheap to get. So there's a battle belt here, which is, I think, yeah, you can get it any website, dump store, whatever. I think this, this cost me about $10 or something, 10 euros approximately like that. So uh, very, very easy to get. Uh, make sure it has webbing and um, yeah, I don't know, they come in different sizes and shapes, but make sure it's one that fits your body, um, you know, not too long because you don't have enough play with the buckles and not too short because maybe you run out of, um, you run out of belt here, it's not that long, but anyway, just make sure that it fits. Um, and then we have a really, yeah, cheap thing, I think, these are cable binders. And cable binders, well, they come in with Velcro and stuff, and they come in, in, in sets. Now, well, this is stuck together. Okay, well, cable binders, um, they come in packages of 10 or something for like a dollar each, and they have uh, one buckle on the one side, and you can loop them around actually to bind cables. If you, if you make a circle of this, you put it together, and you want to pull it apart, you really can't. So one cable binder itself is already pretty strong. Can you imagine if you run uh, like I do, I run three of them through and I actually tried it with only cable binders. I had about five or six all the way across connected to the back and it actually held pretty good even with a heavy load. But I just, for the security, I took a leather, yeah, what is it, a, a binder. Um, I bought this for a few dollars also on an on a army dump store. Uh, you might have to add a few holes. Um, to get it to fit tight, but uh, this one already had a lot of them, so. So that is all I'm using. So, all right, so let's now attach it to the bag and see what that looks like. Okay, so I hope you can see the bag and the, and the flappy thing, and uh, this is the battle belt. As you can see, I just counted the, uh, the amount of webbing, and I just said, well, the middle three is what I'm gonna use to attach it to the to the belt. You can you can add extra, you know, according to the width of this thing, um, but three is more than enough. So the way you loop it around um, is not that complicated, but make sure that when you actually loop it, you know, and you fold it back on the Velcro, that, that is the way it's fastened. And you can really pull hard on that and it won't come undone because these things are pretty uh, strong by themselves. So three of them should actually do the trick. And I tried it, that will hold the bag, but I think that the strap itself was never meant to carry 
the full load it was only be supportive and one more thing these bell belts at least this one comes with a stitching line here and a nice rounded part soft part there so I figured this I want on top so I put this on I just um, put the bell belt there and I loop everything just around I make sure that I don't do it too tight because I just flatten the belt and that is of course not uh, what I want I just want it to be in place so that that doesn't move around this will keep the belt in place make make sure that it doesn't fall over or whatever but now for you can actually do that at the side as well so here with the where the steel loop is you can actually just take another cable binder and and figure out how uh, to, to get it through but um, I thought I use a little bit more strength and I'm gonna show you here so here I have already uh, the leather strap through and I'm gonna do it halfway as you can see I only use one hole and that is what I'm gonna do in the buckle and then I'm gonna move that around a little bit I'm gonna move it through the hole and through the other webbing yeah so now it's like this um, you, you can do it like so that it is nice and smooth so this one is underneath yeah so there's now sort of like a figure eight and now I'm gonna pull back inside of this one so I have now a figure eight through both webbings so you know I don't I'm not saying that this is the only way you can do it I'm just saying that for me this kind of works and it kind of holds everything into place running through both of the webbings and the excess leather you just stick between uh, whatever part of the bag you uh, I don't know like so so yeah that's not too much work and um, I'm gonna do the other way other side as well okay so it is attached and as you can see it's it stays in place it doesn't go anywhere it follows your body it is relatively close to the bag but leaves enough space for ventilation and you also have it really secured with leather straps that can carry the, the, the weight of the backpack so the the strap is not carrying all the weight but it's helping out so all in all um, I think a very easy and cheap solution and if you want to remove it it's not too much work let's move on part two to the um, yeah the arm straps okay the arm straps now when you buy it uh, you'll notice that at the top it is just bolted on the back more or less with, with rivets here and there is no adjustment there there is a sternum strap and then there is just line and it goes all the way down and then it is attached and then you have just the buckle here and that is the way you are going to adjust it uh, and that's kind of a hustle because you cannot do this uh, while walking it's too much weight on the back so you have to take it off adjust it do the other side the same and and figure out kind of like you know do both sides equal and then when you put it back on and you feel that the weight isn't really dis distributed right on your shoulders you really have to like keep moving it around just to get it right and that is kind of a, like a big deal and it comes with a lot of slack I mean it has a lot of slack on this side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this slack and I'm gonna make it minimal I'm gonna put it all the way up then it gives me a lot of space here and then I'm gonna cut this so I have two leather buckles from an old backpack and I have two yeah one of those other buckles here's the the backpack and the strap so the first thing I'm gonna do is get all the slack that I can get in the upper part so loosen this up this is now the back where it's just stuck and this is all the slack that I need now I already kinda like uh, put on the strap about what I need okay here we go um, so I hope that this is in focus alright so here we go we'll, we'll cut it so okay so one 
one Sufota bag uh, destroyed. And then we run the buckle through, so make sure that it is the right size for your bag. Yeah, that you make sure that it fits right, not too wide, not too small, otherwise it will wibble, wobble around, wobble around, wobble around. All right, so put that a little bit higher, run that through here, run it through the top, and you probably need to um, melt the edges a little bit to, to prevent um, things to go, and there you have it. And then, of course, you take your strap, you run that through like every other bag, and now I have one adjustable strap on the bag. I can now adjust it accordingly while walking and pull on that whatever I need, because this comes from an old backpack I already own, so I know how they work. Yeah? So that is a very cheap, easy way to make this backpack um, yeah, a lot more comfortable. I'll do the other side and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm done. I put some weight in my backpack, um, some, a tent and a few sleeping uh, mattresses and stuff. And uh, so, I mean, it's not super, super heavy, but, but it, it holds very easily. So I'll put the, the waist belt on, yeah, and I mean, I mean it sits really uh, comfortable. And sternum strap, and I'll show you the, the end result. Yeah, as you can see, I now have here these, these buckles. You see I have plenty of space, right? I mean I can like, I still have plenty of handle. I can even make this a little bit longer with some excess strap. Put 30% here, 70% on my hips. It really is stable, doesn't go anywhere, you know. So this is a very cheap solution for making a fantastic bag as it is, even more fantastic. All right, um, I hope this helped you out and uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I'll put some specs at the end.